Hey, what's up everyone? So it looks like we have some Last Ronin news to talk about today. For those who don't know, The Last Ronin is getting a prequel sequel series called The Lost Years, which is actually going to come out January 25th, so not too long from now. So yeah, the book's going to consist of going back into the past and seeing all the adventures Michelangelo went on to become The Last Ronin, but we're also going to get moments in the future with a team of four new turtles, the baby turtles that we saw at the end of The Last Ronin. So yeah, presumably these turtles will have new names, new weapons, and we're going to get introduced to them in the sequel series. Now we knew all that already and we talked about it in a previous video, but here you can see on CBR.com there's an exclusive. Let's go ahead and read the headline. It says TMNT Last Ronin's prequel series talking about the Lost Years expands with a Lost Day special. And then it reads the fan favorite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle saga expands with a 40 page special that straddles the past and future of the Last Ronin universe. Let's scroll down here. CBR can exclusively reveal the upcoming Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Last Ronin, the Lost Years prequel series, that's the one we were just talking about, will soon expand with a tie-in one-shot dubbed Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Last Ronin Lost Day Special. So yeah, it looks like in addition to that prequel sequel series that we're getting, The Lost Years, we will also be getting this Lost Day Special. So it really looks like they're going to be fleshing out this Last Ronin universe a lot more. We have some details here about the special. It says, written by TMNT co-creator Kevin Eastman and Tom Waltz with illustrations by Ben Bishop and colors by Luis Antonio Delgado. The 40-page special hits stores in May of 2023 and stars April O'Neil, her daughter Casey Marie Jones, and the four mutant turtles the pair have adopted and trained. And those are the new turtles that we were talking about earlier. After April takes the turtles on a supply run into the devastated ruins of New York City, she becomes embroiled in the latest power struggle affecting the streets and needs to race home with her four reptile friends before it's too late. All right, there you go. So other than the five issues for the Lost Years prequel sequel series, we will be getting an additional 40 page special called Lost Days. It looks like those new four turtles are going to be somewhat grown up at that point. And you can tell that by the picture here that they revealed with this article. And you can see April O'Neil in what looks like the sewers flashing a flashlight. And behind her, you can see a silhouette of the four new turtles. They appear to be wearing some type of hoods, but you can see their eyes glowing and can kind of see the outline of what their heads look like. Can't wait till we get a full reveal on these new turtles and get their names and all that. Okay, so other than that, in this article, they also revealed something else. Let's scroll down here a little further. You can see it says Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles expand Ending Roninverse. TMNT The Last Ronin Lost Years is scheduled for a January 25th release date, which is not too long now from this recording, just a few more days. But then it says, IDW has also announced an expanded director's cut edition of the miniseries' first issue for April of 2023, dubbed Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Last Ronin, The Lost Years Number 1 Director's Cut. The book features supplementary materials from Kevin Eastman, as well as artist Ben Bishop and SL Gallant. So there you go. It looks like issue one of The Lost Years will be getting a director's director's cut version that comes out in April and they did the same thing with the original Last Ronin series. There was a director's cut for that first issue and it was filled with a bunch of behind the scenes storyboards and things like that. And it looks like we're going to be getting something very similar to that here and you can see an image they released of what I believe is a frame of one of the pages that's probably going to be in that director's cut and you can see some notes there from Eastman. And speaking of Eastman, we have a quote here from him that says, as Tom Waltz and I dig deep into our evolution of New York City post the Last Ronin, the Lost Day tale brings the future of all things TMNT up close and very personal. Buckle up, things are about to get messy. So yeah, there you go. Go check out the article if you want to check out the rest of what they had to say here. But yeah, the two big things from this, the 40 page, The Last Ronin, The Lost Years, Lost Day Special, and The Lost Years Issue 1 Director's Cut announced. But yeah, Lost Years about to start in the next few days here. Make sure to pick that up. We're going to be breaking it down in the next couple weeks or so. So keep your eye out for that. But that's it for this quick video. Thanks everybody for watching. Remember to follow on all the social medias. Links are down below in the description. And I will see you guys in a little bit with another video. Take care. Armed.